morning. Hey guys, good morning. How is everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me. Hope everybody's well this morning. I hope I give you enough notice. Please say hey when you jump on. Get this over to VIP. How are you guys? Welcome. Happy Thursday. Sherry, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Here, let me just get this. Um, of course, Facebook was doing something this morning and um, it was giving me a hard time to post an event. I have no idea why. Actually, I hope everybody got it, to be honest with you. <laughs> I hope everybody got it. And I hope my text messages went through too, now that I think of it. So welcome, say hello when you jump on. We'll give it a couple more minutes. And while we do that, let me just, um, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping, shall we? Okay, guys, if you're joining for the first time, I'm Patty Colbert. Welcome, welcome. Um, guys, if you were here with me on Monday and uh, we created a project with the Club Couture, it's over there, I grab it. There is one kit left, just one. I knew they would go. Um, so if you are one of my club members and you're looking for a kit, head on over to our club page, um, and all the information is there. But for that first project, there's just one kit left. Um, what else? Everybody who has, if anybody's waiting on anything for me, everything has been shipped out. Everything. Um, Monday is our craft along. So um, I'm super excited about that project. I think it's going to be a really pretty project. So we're going to complete that on Monday. And um, I'm working on the Pillar Stand Club embellishments. We hope to get those out pretty soon too. Okay. All right. So yesterday, who wants a sneak peek at what I did yesterday? I actually did a video. I haven't posted it yet. But I was working on some um, baby onesies. You want a sneak peek? I can show you. So this is the little guy I was working on yesterday. How cute is that? And I have a little matching hat. So I have this. I actually finished editing the video and I will post that um, a little bit later today probably. But um, I love the onesies. I love the transfers. This is one of our minis. Um, so I was super excited the way that came out. Okay, so today's keyword is hashtag sing. Sorry guys, you have to put the hashtag. It's a Facebook thing, it's not me. But um, if you want a list of the products that I'm using today, just in the comments put hashtag sing, S-I-N-G, and you will get an automated message and it'll just show you the products that I'm using today. Now. Please note, if you plan on purchasing a kit that I do have available, and I'll explain more at the end, um, the cart link I added does have the stand, okay? But if you're going to purchase a kit, 
um, you won't need this stand because there is a stand in the kit already. Unless you want to make two of the same things, which you should because they're going to be so cute. Um, but that's just FYI. But we are going back old school, guys. When is the last time we used our board and base? I, I cannot even remember the last project. Hey, Terry. I can't even remember the last project we did with the board and base. And um, I'm afraid for sure. I mean, this is a pretty cool surface because it is a double sided or vertically or horizontally. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. And don't forget, they are reusable. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is something a little bit different. I'm actually going to paint, paste paint the base dune color, okay? And everything we're using today is just going to be with dune paste. So that makes it super easy. Super easy. Super, super easy. Listening at work. I know it's early. Well, no, it's actually almost lunchtime for you guys, right? All right. Whenever you... Oh, I've got my water bottle, guys. Hold on. I gotta get my water bottle. I was using it for something else. I was washing a board earlier. I totally forgot. Okay, when you use our paste to paint, I actually like to mist the surface down a little bit, and that's just going to let that paste glide on a lot easier, okay? So, um, for today's project, I don't think I'm going to do the underneath, but I'm going to do all sides just because I think it'll look better, okay? Hi, Dana. How are you? Good morning. For some reason, I say, feel like saying good morning, sunshine. All right, so we're working with our board and base, which we have not used in forever. And I'm actually not even going to be neat about this because I kind of just, I might even sand it down a little bit. I just want to get rid of the brownness of it all. Now, I was thinking for the project that we're doing today, you could technically even paint this gold if you really wanted to, like more of a showpiece. Um, when I decided to do this project, I was thinking it's a small transfer, but you can make this into a mighty design for sure. Or you can do what we're doing today and make it into a smaller design. Um, these this board and base is great like as a filler, whether or not you want it um, like um, on a countertop, a coffee table or whatever, but also as a filler like under a tabletop Christmas tree. It's just like those that perfect size. So by doing this, it's not that stark brown color and it'll just go with the finished project a lot better. The ribbon is this color with some black in it. This base would also look beautiful painted in black too for this project. said we aren't making it perfect at all at all okay so do you see it see the difference Shannon good morning all right so we are gonna let that dry and now let's 
go ahead and we are definitely going to have to, let me go ahead and cut this. This actually is really pretty. You're going to be able to use this greenery for any, anything like this pine. Um, musical notes, if you're not copying this project, you can actually paste You can actually paste the musical note right on the base, and that would be super pretty too, okay? But today, we are just going to use the words from this transfer. I'm just going to use those score lines and just cut that off. Shanna, good morning. All right. Now, because this is a brand new transfer, we are going to go ahead and get a little fuzz behind it. And that's just going to take off some of that stickiness. And it'll let us um, pull that up a lot easier, okay? Transfer Terry. I just thought about that. So again, just putting like a little bit of fuzz on it. This is one of our fuzzing cloths. Um, okay, now the secret when you're working with our board and base is we have the base. Okay, I probably should have. Let me see if I can do this. I think it's going to be okay if I. I want to make sure that the bottom isn't hidden because I kind of want to put it, let me move it up a little. Only because this sits in the base. So I want to make sure it's not gonna, nope, that'll be perfect. I just wanted to make sure that um, I wasn't gonna hide the bottom. Whenever you're working with our board and base, there's like a lip on it, maybe, I guess you can call it. It's, it's deep, okay? So just be mindful of that when you use it to not bring your surface all the way down. Okay. Perfect right here. And then I'm going to kind of push it off far right. I'm not really centering it, okay? Now remember, if you're joining for the first time, these are reusable transfers. They're silk screen with an open mesh area. So you can reuse them up to 15 times. These smaller guys, if you take care of the transfer, you can probably get a lot more usage out of them. All right. So, if you'll notice, I kind of kept a little bit right there, and that's going to fit into the lip, okay? And I pushed it over, so it's not really going to be centered. Okay? All right, and we are going to use Dune Paste again. We're just going to push that paste right through. You want to get all that open mesh area, and then you are just going to squeegee off that excess. This does have like a little distressing to it. Just pull up. So, can you see the distressing? Don't worry about my fingerprints, we'll get rid of them. 
If you like it, show me some hearts if you like it. And let's go ahead and wash this. Now you want to make sure you wash your transfers um, sooner than later because you really don't want that paste to dry. And super easy to wash. You just want to get that paste off. Come in with one of our board erasers. For all my crafting friends that do vendor events, this will be a great project to sell at your holiday events. Um, it's on the small side, which a lot of people like, and um, it looks beautiful when it's finished. Again, we're not using the entire transfer today, but you can technically mimic the design we're going to make today using this guy on the side, okay? And I'll show you at the end. All right, so let's go ahead and dry it. on the backer. And it is ready for the next time we need it. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead. I'm going to dry this. It's probably, it is dry right now, but I'm going to dry it just a little bit more because I'm going to sand it down a little bit. it up just a little bit more like on the corners it's funny there's a knot in this little piece of wood When we started, it was dust. It was that color, okay? And then just by throwing on just a little bit of dune with some water, we now have this. Okay? All right. We're actually going to stop finishing up, guys. All right. Let me go ahead and cut this. So in the kit, you will get... 
the board. You'll get this board, okay? You'll get, look at how beautiful this pick is. You're gonna get this pick, and then you're gonna get some of this, is it upside down? You will get some of this ribbon. It's a super easy project, guys. Super easy. Do you like it, Dana? All right, so what I think I'm going to do, I don't want to make it a big bow because remember, this is a smaller surface. We are putting on a pretty big embellishment based on the size of the surface, okay? So what I want to do, I'll move this guy around. And this is pretty, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a musical note and it's got like the background music sheet to it. Yes, Dana. All right. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put a knot in this. Let's see what that looks like. not look better and the actual knot not the smooth side but the actual knot in the front so you know just twist twist it if you want it and if you want it on the other side just twist it the other way but I think I want to I think I'm going to have the knot showing and not the flat side I think I like that better all right let's dovetail this This is dry. I don't want to lose that bottom word. Love it too, Terry. All right, so I think I'm going to keep that knot in the back. And I'm going to put this right in the middle. If you are going to purchase the kit, you can cut your stem wherever you want to, okay? I think that would be good for me, what, what I want to do. And I want to have this going this way. And what's great about this pick, it's almost like rubbery. You just like turn that thing around. All right, let's glue this down. I am gluing this, which means I'm probably not going to use this surface again. Or if you ever glue these surfaces, I tell you this all the time, you can use masking tape or if you just do like a, um, if you just do like a bubble dot, you can pick it off. I'm gonna put it up here.
did the knot was because now you can hot glue that knot right on here. Or you can do loops if you want. You can do a regular bow. But I think I like the knot better. something like this last year with the angels. Remember those little angel ornaments we had? Those were really pretty. All right, and I want to make sure I'm not going to, that this ribbon isn't going to keep sliding. So I'm going to do just a little glue dot right here. Now remember what I said, you can definitely, um, you can definitely do something on the bottom. Like you can um, paste something on the bottom too, if you want. Oops. All right, who wants to see it? We're done, who wants to see it? Ah, yep. I, I love that project that you did, Terry. Love, love, love. Can you guys see? Can you see it? I never know if it's like in the center or not. I wanna make sure. All right, how super easy was that, guys? Put a little glue right up here. Hold on. Do I want to? Hmm. We'll see. I might squish that over a little bit later. Okay. Way too easy, right? Way too easy. In less than a half hour, and we chit chatted in the beginning. Hi, Gwen. How are you? I didn't see you sneak on. All right, guys, that's all I have. So remember, today's keyword is hashtag sing, and you'll get a list of the um, ingredients that I used today. So it's the transfer, the dune paste, and the board and base. And remember, you can add to or delete from that link to make it your own, okay? If you plan on purchasing the kit, the kit does have a board in it, so if you want to buy a second board, perfect, if you want to make this twice. Um, and like I was saying, you can definitely embellish this if you don't want to purchase the kit or if you don't have the pick. You can do this on the side with some ribbon and some other greenery if you want, if you don't want the pick, okay? Um, and don't forget, you have the musical note bar. You can. You can do that as a border. I mean, there's a lot that you can do with this little guy. So I will have, I already have the kits set up. I already have the link. I will go ahead and open it up. If you want the link, head on over to the VIP lounge, limited quantity. Um, and if you have any questions, just message me, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hopping on. Got a lot of work. Did you like that onesie I showed you? Baby bodysuit. Um, 
I'll, I did make a video, so I will get that posted in a little bit, okay? All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Here's the kit, I'll post the link, and you will see or hear from me. Oh, actually, you know I've always got something going on. I am hosting a one-year-old birthday party on Saturday. <laughs> they are flying in to give their daughter to have their daughter's birthday party at my house. So um, that's Saturday, so I will be running around a lot tomorrow, but message me if you need anything, okay? I'm always available. All right, love to all. Bye, guys.